Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we're going to have a couple of Premier League games, Southampton and Bournemouth both away from home. We're sort of hitting a bad patch of run in the Premier League so we definitely need a couple of wins today. There's only been three games played since the last time we met, the first of which was a league game against top of the league, Liverpool, where we fell to a 2-0 defeat. Renato Sanchez ended up getting sent off in the 66th minute and following on from that, Lautaro Martinez with a penalty in the 74th and Mohamed Salah with another goal in the 83rd gave Liverpool the victory. Next up was Liverpool once again, this time in the League Cup quarter-final where we managed to take our revenge and win 2-1. Esposito and Jean-Pierre with the goals for us. Naby Keita got them a goal in the 55th minute as Mo Salah missed a penalty in the 36th and we robbed them. Let's put it bluntly, we did not create anything, they created lots and we still won, so I'll take it. And finally, we've just played Spurs at home in the Premier League and got beat 2-0. We were robbed a little bit in this one. Davison Sanchez gave them the lead in the 14th minute. Harry Kane from the penalty spot in the 77th gave them the two goals and the three points. And after those runner fixtures, we have dropped out of the top four and now sit in fifth position. Only a point ahead of Arsenal and four points ahead of Spurs in sixth. So, uh, seventh even. So we are struggling a little bit in the league. We needed a couple of easier games at Southampton and Bournemouth, currently sitting in 18th and 11th. So hopefully we can get back to winning ways here. So it will be Southampton away from home first, and this is how we're going to line up. Jack Butland in goal, Bella Kotchap, Onjean and Kerrer in the defence with Dodo and Pellegrini as our wing-backs. Jean-Pierre will not be starting in central midfield assistant manager. Renato Sanchez and Danny Olmo will be in the centre with Jean-Pierre in behind Esposito and Alexander Isaac. Haaland drops to the bench. We've got Baldock and Ender Stevens. The likelihood of them will be the substitutes. Let's get into the game. So they come at us with a pretty standard 4-2-3-1. They are the home side, so you would imagine they won't be sitting back too much. We'll have to be on our guard, um, but hopefully we can get the three points today. Early highlight, Ward Prowse with a free kick for Southampton. We managed to get rid. Oh, do not give a penalty for that referee. Consul Villa. Oh, he has and he's given the penalty. Southampton with a penalty inside five minutes. Pellegrini with, was the offender who ended up giving them Trinko. Steps up. Come on, Jack Butland. He saves it and it goes out clear. Oh, thank God for that. We don't go 1-0 down inside five minutes. That's ideal. We've had to wait a 30 minutes for our next highlight. And once again... It's Southampton in an advanced position with Lanzini. Ginette was in the box, completely unmarked, plenty of time in his hands, and he strikes it out the far post and beats Jack Butland to put Southampton 1-0 up, only his second goal of the season. This is not going well, lads. We're not playing particularly well. Uh, Southampton are dominating the game, and as you can see, we're a bit all over the place in the defence, um, and we suffer for it. And that's it for half-time. Half -time. Southampton going 1-0 up. Uh, aggressively told the boys, get your fucking act together, but they're not listening. Maybe they are. Danny Olmo with a free kick. Bella Kotchap gets it from the edge. Uh, it's back out to Danny Olmo out wide. We've sort of been pinned back by Southampton here, but maybe we can carve an opportunity on the left-hand side. Pellegrini receives the ball, switches the player. Bella Kotchap, our centre-back, drives forward after providing the pass to the assister and manages to get... His second goal of the season and an assist by Luca Pellegrini. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic stuff by him. Um, Pellegrini here with a great cross. As you can see, Bella Kotchap coming in late and getting a decent strike on it as well. I'm pretty sure his finishing stats are terrible, but it doesn't matter. He's got the goal and he's got us level. Another highlight now, 58 minutes in. Southampton have the ball currently. Hojberg finds Danny Ings up top. Jeanette Bo's been causing us all kinds of problems on that left-hand side. He goes for goal. Jack Butland keeps it out. But it goes to Trinko, who plays the ball back in. Bella Kotchap on Jean. Managed to get rid of Pellegrini. Can now hopefully, calmly, play it out. The highlight does continue, so we'll stick with the Jean-Pierre. Manages to drive into the box. He's in the box. He goes for goal. And I don't know if that was a save or just went out of play, but we got close. With only 20 minutes to go. We'll look to make our subs. Danny Olmo's struggling a little bit out there. We'll get Oliver Norwood on in his place. And we'll get Ender Stevens on for Luca Pellegrini at left wing back. Final 15 minutes of the game, we have went attacking, and hopefully that will pay dividends. Sebastiano Esposito with a header, and I thought that was going to loop the keeper, but it goes just wide. We're going to go very attacking for the final five. We'll need a goal here. I would really like to get three points. George Baldock coming on for Dodo for the final five minutes or so, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen here. Four minutes of added time just trickling away, and now we have it. Southampton won, Sheffield United won a disappointing result. We managed 
to scrape a point really. Um, Southampton missing the penalty early on, then going in front. Thankfully, we would get the equaliser, but not the winner. So the point still says we're sitting in fifth position. Man City can go above us, so with their game in hand, we're dropping, boys. We're dropping. So we're back for the game against Bournemouth in the Premier League. We are away from home again today. Uh, the only changes to the starting eleven from the Southampton game are Haaland returns to the starting eleven um, in place of Alexander Isaac. I just hope somebody can start hitting some form because. We are, I think that's three games on the bounce now in the Premier League. We've been um, beaten when it was Arsenal, um, Spurs and Liverpool. I think the Blackburn game was sandwiched in between there somewhere. But then the draw against Southampton as well. We have dropped a lot of points already this season um, in the past five games. After a fantastic start, so I would hate it to go to waste. So hopefully we can get a win today against Bournemouth. As the first highlight comes in, two minutes in, Kerr with the ball in. Falls to Haaland in the box. He plays it to Sanchez, of course, for the strike. Dodo on the edge, gets the ball in. Pellegrini, back to Esposito, back to Pellegrini. Somehow manages to beat the keeper at his near post. Gunn cannot keep that out. That's his fourth goal of the season from left wing back. Assist for Esposito. And I didn't think this was going to come to anything. <laughs> we had quite a few opportunities there. Dodo with the cross. Pellegrini to Esposito, back to Pellegrini. And the keeper should keep that out. 1-0. Another highlight now, 30 minutes in. It's Bournemouth this time on the attack. Butland can claim the cross though. And maybe we can build something. We've played the ball well between us, the defence and midfield. Sanchez has set away Esposito, who's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And who would have thought that the keeper saves? Another highlight now, free kick by Bournemouth. Gomez plays it in. Bella Kochap wins ahead and Jean-Pierre with a big win as well. Unfortunately, it falls to the Bournemouth defence and they can re uh, remain with their attack. Jordan on this left-hand side. He's played the ball in at Brooks on the edge. Thankfully, it goes over his head. Pellegrini can't get the challenge in though. And David Brook plays a bat in. Oh, oh my God. It's when it ended up in the back of the net. Jordan Ibe gets the goal to bring Bournemouth level. Only his second goal of the season. But another disappointing defensive display by us. Had plenty of opportunities there to win the ball and get it clear. But um, we didn't take any of them. And Bournemouth level up. We're not watching the highlight. 38 minutes in now. 1-1. One, one. We are in possession in the defence. Let's see if we can create anything. Kerra to Pellegrini on this left-hand side. Ball over the top for Esposito. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, Gunn with the save. And that's going to be it for the first half. Bournemouth 1, Sheffield United 1. It wasn't a bad display by us so far, but to go in 1-1 one -one after the opportunities we've had is a little bit disappointing. Kick off for the second half. No changes needed right now. Um, just get the win, please. And Bournemouth have um, just scored straight from kickoff. Jefferson Lerma <laughs> It's their goal of the season. I wasn't even paying attention. That's how little I cared after a, a highlight straight from kickoff. But they ended up scoring. Jake's down this left-hand side. Finds Jordan Ibu. Finds Jefferson Lerma on the edge of the box. And it's a decent strike to beat Jack Butland at his far post. And Bournemouth have come from 1-0 down to be 2-1 up. Another highlight now. 50 minutes in. We have made some tactical changes to hopefully bring us back into this game. But they um, haven't taken effect yet. So let's see how this goes. Bournemouth played about nicely in the defence, remain composed whilst we are closing them down with Bella Kochap with a hell of a tackle. And Jean-Pierre sets away Erling Haaland, he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. False Esposito, oh my god, he's missing a one goal. <laughs> oh my, we should be 4-2 up, easily. 20 minutes to go, we will look to make some changes. Alexander Isaac, come on for Haaland, who's had a shocking game, should not return to the starting lineup. Um, we're going to get Danny Olmorf as well for John Fleck in the middle of the park. Time is ticking away in this match. We've went overload and it hasn't made a blind bit of difference. And now we are. Bournemouth 2, Sheffield United 1 out of all the results so far this season. That is That stings the most. We definitely didn't deserve to get beat there. But at the same time, our players didn't perform particularly well either. And that season was dropped to 6th place in the Premier League now. Only 2 points above Spurs in 7th. And we're now... Very, very far off Man City and Arsenal in fifth and fourth, four points. To go from second last episode to this is a little bit disappointing. Um, you see the run here. We've had an absolutely dreadful five games or so. Um, the defeat of Liverpool, the defeat of Spurs, and now the defeat of Bournemouth as well. Just, it stings a little bit. We should be doing a lot better. But um, hopefully it won't affect us going too much going forward the season. We're still performing above expectations particularly in the board's mind they only expect us to um finish in the top half this season so the fact that we're currently in european qualification places 
is perfect. Um, a lot of the games to go in January. What I'm going to do for the January transfer episode is we're just going to play the final two games and we'll do the roundup similar to how we do the summer transfer roundup. Unless there's major, major moves for any of our first 11, I don't imagine me making any major signings during this window. We've only got £15 million, um, so the likelihood of us making anything crazy is unlikely. So we're just going to play through January and we'll do the roundup at the end of the January transfer window. So it's been a disappointing episode, but if you have enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.